Hello and welcome to this newscast. I'm Daniel Che. Let's start with our first story. In response to President Bakanes' message on Saturday, opposition party leader Moon Jae-in detailed his own vision for the economic prospects of reunification. Our Song ji sun gives us Moon's take on ensuring a bright future for Korea in these times of slowing growth. A day after nationwide celebrations of Korea's liberation, main opposition leader Moon Jae-in laid out his vision for the integration of the two Koreas. In his speech marking the 70th anniversary, the head of the main opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy said Sunday that Seoul should prepare for the next 30 years with the goal of expanding its economic zone through economic unity. By bridging the Korean Peninsula with other continents through the North's territory, Moon suggested that the resulting economic integration would create new jobs and growth momentum. Reunification may not take place soon, but if our economic unity comes first, our companies will immediately gain access to a market of 80 million people. Korea will then be able to achieve a per capita income of 30,000 U.S. dollars. Calling for reconciliation with the North, Moon also urged the government to resume reunions of separated families and restart the stalled six-party talks aimed at denuclearizing Pyongyang. The former chief of staff to late President No Mu Hyun finished runner-up to President Park Geun-hye during the 2012 presidential election and is a favorite to run the next race. In a statement, the ruling Taemuri party responded to Moon's call for economic unity by labeling it a vague idea built on thin cloud. It also warned that careful discretion should be taken when approaching Pyongyang, considering its ongoing provocations. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News.